Hi Toy Fans, it's Roberto here doing another unboxing. Uh, this time of a much more high profile character. This is Marvel Legends Deadpool um, Wave Cable um, from basically X-Force and the X-Men comics. Um, he's the original leader of X-Force. When uh, they were the New Mutants, he changed them into that uh, basically outlaw band of mutants. On the top, you see a Deadpool little burst there. On the side, we got a, a color piece of art, which is a little bit different um, than usually the two-tone colors you get. And then on the back here, we got a dynamic pose of Cable, and then a little sentence on him being a mercenary, and then the figures in the Sasquatch uh, Build-A-Figure Wave, uh, this Deadpool set. Get a couple of Deadpools, a Domino, that's pretty cool. The Deathlock I already unboxed. But, um, yeah, no, Dead, uh, Cable, I loved I loved X-Force in the 90s. That was probably my favorite X-Book because I was a teenager. So, you know, they were it was full of rebellious teenagers. And who better to lead uh, them than a old time traveler? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, regardless, we got in here, we got the, uh, well, just slide out. Yeah. Uh, the Deadpool burst in the background of the box, and then this figure's jam-packed with accessories, so that's pretty cool. The plastic can't even hold them, it looks like. Uh, let's start with the most boring piece to me, the, uh, the Sasquatch foot. Well, you know, it's a nicely painted foot. It's got some weird, you know, monkey-looking toes on there, but whatever. Um, that's your thing? Cool. Um, he comes with a trademark... Cable giant gun, a, a, a BFG, if you will. Um, that's what Cable had. He had, it was a Rob Liefeld creation, the character. So he had more guns and more shoulder pads than everybody else on the market at the time. Um, but that's why you loved him back then. And he didn't take anything from anybody. Man, look at this. This guy is really cool. He's kind of huge. Um, I kind of wish he had two closed hands, maybe an, uh, maybe an ex like a hand you can take uh, change out so you could hold two guns, um, but you know, whatever, take what you can get, you know, I'm happy to get another cable since they had one a couple years back, and I passed on that one because I didn't think he was that cool, but this one is basically the cable I remember, um, just a big looking bat, a BA looking dude that can pretty much take down you know, anybody you're thinking of. But, yeah, he's got all the pouches I need. Um, got some holes on the back, I'm guessing, so you can plug some stuff in. I don't know how, but I'm sure it does. Um, oh, looks like there's a... Yeah, okay. So there's a hole for what looks like the gun right here. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go. Uh, however you want to place your gun. Probably the opposite way. Got a holster... I've seen a holster somewhere. Oh, there's one underneath his uh, his, his side right there. And see if uh, it's got a nice tight grip. And I like that the actual the uh, finger goes into the uh, the trigger. Um, yeah, it's kind of he is pretty cool. Um, I like that he's got like a headpiece so he can talk to the future or Grey Malk in his, uh, his ship um, that he was always in contact with the AI. Um, now, more importantly, probably what everybody wants to know is, does this gun, how does this work? Because it looks like it's kind of big, and it, and it is. Maybe he can, uh, his uh, shoulder pads are too big to actually, uh... no, I guess you can get, you can work something out, um, which is more to, more than you can do with the, uh, the Marvel Select one, which I also got, which was just awesome looking, but not much on the, on the play side, um, does this plug in anywhere? Nope, but, yeah, cable, uh, let's see what else, yeah, I guess you could just shoot forward, but yeah, like I'm saying, if you had a, had another hand be the more classic cable. He always had more guns than he, than he needed, um, which was fine by me. Cause you know, if you need the 
the Punisher version of Xavier. Um, he was he was the guy that filled the uh, filled the void. Regardless, this dude looks great. I like all the paint they used on him. I like that he's got all the extra trinkets, like this neck collar that just seems to be moving around and everything uh, everything about him. Even his eye, he's got that starburst in his eye that I guess everybody... Uh, he's got actually two starbursts. If you look on one side, he's got the the burst there. And then on the other side, he's got like the white eye with the scar around it that's also a starburst. So double your starburst, I guess. But um, yeah, no, Cable... Definitely in the '90s, he was in my top three just favorite characters. Now I haven't read a good Cable story in so long; he's kind of dipped pretty pretty low. But I do I do like him. Um, his his other arm, his metal arm, could have been a bit bigger. To be honest, I think the uh, I don't know maybe it's because it's being dwarfed by this size. But I honestly think the Deathlock arm that's in the same wave was bigger than this arm. But whatever, he got the big accessories, which is cool. A uh, really fun wave of, of figures right now, and I'm really happy to get more X-Force. So, anyways, um, my name's Roberto. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know if you picked up this cable, if you like them, and uh, if you read that 90s X-Force that I gushed about. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.